Hi, welcome to Prime Recap. Five years after his awakening, the king of the monsters must face his greatest adversary in a battle that puts the existence of all humanity at risk. Today we will recap the story of the movie, 2019's Godzilla, King of the Monsters. In 2014, during Godzilla's attack on San Francisco, Mark and Emma lost their oldest son. Andrew was one of hundreds of thousands of victims of the duel between the Titans. Five years have passed since the incident and Emma has still not been able to overcome this great trauma. Some time after all this suffering, the couple eventually separated and Madison, the youngest daughter, moved in with her mother. Despite this, she still secretly exchanges messages with her father, even though Emma directs the young woman not to do so. The woman is afraid that Madison will get frustrated, because her father is always too busy to see her. The scientist reveals that she has finally managed to finalize the development of Orca, the biosonar device to which she has dedicated years of her life. The two live in one of the Monarch Company's bases in China, and Emma works as a researcher in the search for new titans. That morning, mother and daughter are taken to a cave to witness the birth of a titan caterpillar, which they have named Mothra. At this instant, the containment systems begin to fail and Tim reveals his belief that someone is purposely causing this problem. The security team then goes into action and is attacked by the caterpillar. Seeing his men being eliminated, Tim decides to press the button that will put an end to the creature, but Emma prevents him from doing so. She assures him that she knows a way to calm Mothra down and enters the containment room with Orca in hand. While trying to reassure the monster, the scientist turns on the device and Madison goes after her. The two are about to be devoured when Emma manages to activate the alpha frequency and the titan calms down. In that instant, the creature becomes so docile that Madison even manages to put her hand on it. Everyone is very happy with the result of the research, until the laboratory is invaded by Alan and his army. The squad eliminates the entire team to steal the device, but upon realizing that Emma has found a way to use it to control the titans, decides to take her along with her daughter. Mark is watching a pack of wolves when he spots a monarch helicopter approaching. As soon as the aircraft lands, Dr. Serizawa and his assistant, Vivian, show up to pick him up. On this day, Mark finds out that his ex-wife and daughter have been captured and decides to help Monarch find Orca, because only then will he be able to see his family again. The group worries about what might happen now that the device has fallen into the wrong hands and plans to get it back before further damage occurs. Serizawa reveals that in addition to Godzilla, 17 other titans have been detected around the world, however, most are in a state of deep hibernation. Mark is taken to another secret Monarch headquarters, located in the middle of the ocean. The facility was created to study Godzilla in his natural habitat and not even the government knows of its existence. As they try to locate Orca, Vivian tells them that after Emma and Madison were captured, Mothra escaped from headquarters and made her cocoon in a waterfall near where she was born. Alan Jonah, the man who captured Mark's family, is a former colonel in the British Army who has become a defender of nature above all else. The man is obsessed with restoring the natural order, and to finance his operations he has started selling Titan DNA on the illegal market. Upon hearing this, Mark suggests that the monarch eliminate all the titans, so the problems will be solved, as Orca will be of no use. However, Dr. Serizawa believes that these creatures are an important factor in the biological balance for the planet and defends the idea that titans should be preserved. Meanwhile, Emma and Madison are taken to another monarch base, which is overrun by Alan's army. After eliminating all the employees, the group breaks into the facility and reaches the hiding place where Monster Zero is being kept. The creature is frozen in a large block of ice and Alan intends to free it. Just then, Dr. Serizawa and his team are surprised by the arrival of Godzilla. The Titan has never before come this close to the facility, and his pulse rate indicates that he is very stressed about something. Suddenly, Godzilla begins to move away from the base and Mark asks the members of the Monarch to follow him, believing that the animal may be chasing the signal emitted by Orca. Upon analyzing the route taken by the Titan, the military realizes that it is heading for Antarctica and soon begins to suspect that Monster Zero has been released. As such, the members of the Monarch travel there to pay the base a visit and soon discover that the place has been taken over by Alan. At this time, a small group breaks into the facility in order to go unnoticed and eliminate their enemies, but they fall into a trap and are easily slaughtered. Concerned that his family is being held prisoner, Mark decides to interfere in the mission and goes after his former wife and daughter. When he finds them, the man tries to get them to follow him, but Emma does not allow Madison to go with her father and activates the bombs so that the big block of ice is broken. After doing so, they flee and Mark manages to escape by getting into an elevator. When Madison is safely inside an airplane with her daughter, she uses Orca to awaken Monster Zero, which is a titan whose form resembles a three-headed dragon. Immediately, the military tries to shoot it down, 
but their weapons are not able to do any damage to the creature. Meanwhile, Mark runs back to the aircraft and sees his colleagues being eliminated by being hit by the electric beams released by the dragon. After defeating the soldiers, Beast Zero attacks the rest of the group, who manage to survive thanks to Godzilla's arrival. While the two monsters are fighting each other, Serizawa's team abandons the aircraft and tries to escape to safety. However, during the escape, Vivian ends up being eliminated by being bitten by one of the monster's heads. After defeating Godzilla, Beast Zero intends to attack the humans, but decides to flee when warships approach and begin firing explosives at the enemy. Hours later, the survivors are back at the base and can hardly believe it when Mark reveals that it was Emma, a brilliant monarch scientist, who released that monster. Still incredulous, Sam questions why Emma wants to ally herself with Alan and Serizawa states that they will need to meet with her to ask her personally why she betrayed him. However, the group doesn't have to go to the trouble of looking for the scientist, as Emma herself contacts them. The woman explains that she is releasing the Titans in order to save the world, because humans have been the dominant species for thousands of years and, as a result, all life forms on the planet have been harmed. According to Emma, the Titans are the fever responsible for ridding the Earth of this infection, because they are part of the planet's natural defense system. As such, she intends to use Orca to ensure that humanity does not become extinct and can coexist with the Titans. The scientist believes that these creatures are the only ones capable of restoring the balance of the planet, and if they were destroyed by the government, the entire Earth will soon be destroyed. Upon hearing this crazy plan, Mark and Serizawa try to convince Emma to give up, but the woman remains firm in her decision to free those monsters. Before hanging up the call, Emma advises the team to hide in one of the shelters built by the monarch so as not to risk being annihilated during the Titan's attack. When Alan gives the order for Emma to activate the biosonar, Madison tries to change her mind, but the scientist decides to go through with the plan. Even after losing the duel, Godzilla does not give up on eliminating his greatest enemy and continues on his way to Mexico. Isla de Mara will be the next target of attack and the military needs to evacuate as many residents as possible. When the biosonar is activated, Rodan, the monster that was trapped inside the volcano, breaks free and attracts the attention of Monster Zero. In order to buy time for the residents to escape, the Monarch team attacks the creature and tries to lure it far away towards Monster Zero. During the attack, Rodan destroys numerous enemy ships until he finally enters the storm and encounters Monster Zero. When they meet, the two titans begin a fatal fight and the fire demon is knocked into the ocean. At that moment, Serizawa receives a call from Admiral Stenz, who asks the entire team to halt the attack and move away to a safe distance, because the army has developed the prototype of a liquid oxygen bomb capable of destroying any life form within a radius of 3 kilometers. Therefore, the group has no choice but to obey the Admiral's orders, because the missile is already on its way. During their escape, the team spots Monster Zero flying towards them. They are about to be annihilated when Godzilla appears and snatches the dragon, tearing off one of its heads. There are only a few seconds left before the explosion, and if all goes as expected, the two titans will be eliminated. However, the plan was a great failure, as it doesn't take long before Monster Zero comes out of the water and flies away. On the other hand, Godzilla's vital signs are very weak and eventually fade after a few minutes. Upon landing on Isla de Mara, the dragon gathers strength to regenerate and regains its lost head. Then the beast summons all the titans scattered in the most remote places on Earth, and they awaken to answer his call. Realizing that the whole world is being attacked at once, Emma realizes the mistake she has made, for Orca is not capable of controlling all the titans at once. During all this time, Mothra the caterpillar has been inactive in her cocoon. But now that she has completed her metamorphosis, she reveals her new form. At one of the monarch headquarters, Dr. Rick Stanton wonders why the dragon was not affected by the oxygen bomb, and Dr. Chen reveals that she has made a discovery. According to their studies, Monster Zero is an alien and should not be on that planet. This invading species, according to the legends, was called Ghidorah, which means, he who is many. Admiral Stenz reveals that on every continent on the planet, titans are causing earthquakes, fires, tsunamis, and hundreds of thousands of deaths. As a last plan, the army is trying to lure the creatures with nuclear material, but they are not taking the bait this time. Given these facts, Mark states that these monsters are only answering Ghidorah's call, so if the dragon is stopped, all attacks will cease. The problem is that the only titan that would stand a chance against the alien is Godzilla, who ended up being killed during the explosion. Emma has realized that now that the king of the monsters is gone, Ghidorah is not using the titans to save the planet but to destroy it. In order to reverse the effect of her big mistake, the woman intends to use Orca to stop the attacks, but Alan intends to let nature take its course. Now that the world is doomed, 
Mark decides to go after his daughter, for Madison is the only important thing left in his life. Before entering the aircraft, the man sees a magnificent creature approaching and realizes that this is Mothra, the queen of monsters. The butterfly emits a call that only Godzilla can assimilate, and Serizawa plans to help the king of the monsters rise from the dead. In order to accomplish this mission, a submarine is sent to the bottom of the ocean in search of the Titan. Meanwhile, Madison steals Orca and escapes from the shelter determined to do whatever she can to stop the monsters from destroying the planet. The young woman then infiltrates a soccer field where the survivors of the city of Boston are gathered and turns on the biosonar. After a few hours of searching, Serizawa and his team manage to find Godzilla and realize that he has gone after a radiation source to feed on in order to regenerate his body. However, it may take years before he can fully recover, and humanity cannot wait all that time. Therefore, it will be necessary to launch a nuclear torpedo to revive the Titan. The problem is that the weapon system was damaged during the dive and there is no way to fire the missile. So Serizawa is willing to go and do the shooting manually, even though he knows he will die from being exposed to the radiation. Thanks to Madison's efforts, the creatures have simultaneously stopped their attacks worldwide, and Emma soon realizes what her daughter has done. After saying goodbye to his colleagues, Serizawa gets into a submarine and travels through the ruins at the bottom of the ocean until he reaches the cave where Godzilla is. After turning on the bomb, the man approaches the Titan and says goodbye to the creature he has admired most in his entire life. At that moment, a gigantic explosion occurs and even the submarine where Mark and the rest of the team are is hit. Luckily, everyone makes it to the surface alive and gets to witness the rebirth of the Monster King. After facing the humans up close, the creature leaves and continues on its way to Boston to meet its archenemy. Afraid of losing another child, Emma decides to leave the shelter and goes after Madison. The girl gets desperate when she sees a storm approaching and, along with it, Ghidorah arrives. The creature feels confused, as it doesn't know exactly where the call is coming from, and Madison decides to run away with Orca so that it won't be destroyed. What the girl did not expect is that she would be pursued by the dragon, which attacks her with all its fury with the aim of destroying the alpha frequency. While trying to escape, Madison ends up being struck by one of the beams. Just as she is about to be destroyed, Godzilla appears and begins a duel against Ghidorah. Along with him are dozens of army ships, which have gone there to distract the dragon while the giant lizard does the work of destroying him. The military then begins to attack the creatures with numerous bombs. Monitoring indicates that in a few minutes, Godzilla will set off a strong wave of radiation, so Mark needs to rescue Madison and get Orca before that happens. Therefore, the man infiltrates the middle of the battlefield and starts calling for his daughter. The Monster King is at a disadvantage when fighting the three dragon heads, but Mothra shows up to help him. However, it doesn't take long before Rodan also enters the fray to his master's rescue and attacks the butterfly. Mark and his small group are completely vulnerable in that war zone, but are saved by Emma, who is also there to find Madison. The woman steers the vehicle away from the wreckage and comes to the conclusion that her daughter must have gone to hide in the family's old house. By this time Ghidorah is losing the duel and decides to feed himself some electricity to energize his body. At that instant, his strength increases so much that the dragon is able to eliminate all enemy ships with a single blow. Meanwhile, Mothra struggles to survive Rodan's attacks and, at the last second, manages to dig her claws into his chest, immobilizing the fire demon. Upon arriving at the site of their former home, the couple finds only rubble and Mark spots Madison's body under the rubble. The group then manages to rescue the girl, who is breathing again after being pulled out from under the concrete. Just then, the trio spots Godzilla being grabbed by Ghidorah and carried up into the sky. The dragon then releases his enemy, causing him to suffer a great fall. The Monster King is already weakened when Mothra appears to help him, but is soon destroyed by the alien's rays. The helicopter approaches to rescue the group and Mark plans to attract the dragon's attention with the aircraft so that Godzilla has some time to recover. However, in order to increase her daughter's chances of survival, Emma decides to turn on Orca and uses a vehicle to transport him. Meanwhile, Mark takes Madison away from that place. Emma drives through the ruined city and, as planned, is chased by the dragon. It doesn't take long before her car is struck by lightning, but nevertheless, the woman remains alive. Ghidorah then approaches to eliminate her, but Godzilla arrives soon after. His body is on fire and about to explode due to radiation overload. The heat waves emitted by the giant lizard are able to disintegrate the dragon's body and eliminate it completely. Now that Ghidorah has been killed, all the other titans approach Godzilla and bow down to him, recognizing him as their one and only legitimate king. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.